All right, here we are on the hunt. We got Murray getting ready down here. Yep. It is probably around 3.45. I'm gonna hike in for about an hour, get there around 4.35, and then blend into the environment like a nice milkshake. I thought it was though we had a pretty good like beginning to the day until a hunter, what I would classify as, what you can't intrude on someone's hunt. What's it called? You can't. Eminent domain. Yeah, something like that. We had it all set up, and Maybe then this guy. Uh, I just called in these does. There was a pack of four. They kind of went by right yeah, above like us. Yeah, twenty-five yards away. It was beautiful. And I was like, all right, cool. This is going well. And then this guy walked right into their path and stopped. And old man Fud. Comes, and he just stood, I mean, he was there for come, like an hour. Well, he was like doing like creeping along and then sit down for like five minutes and then creep another like three feet and sit down for five minutes. And there's no way in hell this guy didn't see us. Yeah. Like no way in hell. But, you know, we found this, this uh, tree stand, like one of the prop up ones, you know, that looks like it's been there for like forever. I mean, it's like literally rusted on the tree. So it's not like the guy put it up the season. And he climbs his happy ass up that ladder and it yeah, faces us. After 40 minutes, doesn't of acknowledge. Just like, we're like 40 yards away from this guy. And it's like, are you serious? She's got the best vantage point. You can see. Here's the high ground, though. Yeah, well, I mean, you always so, want to have the high ground. Well, right? what I'm saying is now he's like, oh, I'm king of this area, bitch. Yeah. So, so then we hiked over a bunch of other yards a different way set well, up we probably went like about 500 yards to the, the west from where we were at yeah because we went 200 we went 300 like a 300 yards we ran into another hunter and we wanted to go another couple hundred yards to get away from him and not interfere with his hunt we ended up where we scouted earlier the first yeah. initial spot that we really liked is where we ended up so which was a good spot yeah, it was a good we spot let, yeah. we just didn't didn't come across anything no but look at how many hunters we saw after that there's that Teenage kid just like be bopping through the woods right in front of our position. We hit four. Looks off. Oh, oh, hey. You know. Yeah. So the whole day we saw six, like around six hunters, within like a thousand yard radius. Thousand yard, yeah, radius pretty much. Yeah. So that's the bad thing, like here in Central PA, hunting like public land. It's like a pumpkin patch. Like every every couple steps you run across another guy, and no one can get mad because it's all public land, but. Everybody's just stepping on each other's tail, like trying to find a good spot, you know. Yeah. So it's like, it's tough. If you don't have a buddy who's got a farm or private land, it's, it is what it is, you know. So if any of you guys watching this want to invite Captain Birds and myself out to hunt on your private property <laughs> so we can kill some deer and maybe drink some scotch by the fire afterwards and tell an entertaining stories, so like go ahead and <laughs> let, let, let birds know. We'll be down. We will definitely be down for that. Absolutely.
and you know where to hit me up. I uh, I thought it was a good, fun day. It started very early, very early at 3.30 in the morning. No one was here when we got here, so we were the first people here, and we hiked in, and it was a good day. I think it's, it's it was not, a nice day. Yeah, it was a nice day. I mean, it's a little cold, but it wasn't as cold as it was supposed to be. And yeah, the beginning of the day, it was cold, and then it turned out to be like 53 the rest of the day, which was awesome. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad weather-wise, but look, it's like... A, I say all the time, like I just like I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be out in the woods, you know. Yeah. Be out amongst nature and all of God's creation, and think your your inner thoughts and just relax and not worry about email and your phone blowing up and all the all the things we deal with on a daily basis. Like, just, you know, take your rifle for a walk in the woods. You can have a good time even if you don't shoot anything. Yeah, I will say that the mock scrape I put up that you saw in the previous video was about. 50 yards past where the other hunter in the beginning of the day screwed us. So I'm sure he benefited from my mock scrape like we did not. Maybe. Because I heard a gunshot. Oh yeah, we did hear that one shot. Right? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it was fun. I had a good time. Got to hang out with my best bud and check out the woods and learn that, you know, hiking up 700 feet is different when you're 40. So it was in, always in, that. In a foot deep of dry leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Sasquatch just barreling through the woods every step. You try to take little steps and be stealthy, and it's like, nope, no. Nope. So, if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Go ahead and put down below how you've done this year so far with your uh, excursions out in the woods and going hunting. And until next time, later.